Um, hello everybody. I'm having a portable little telescope I think is a handy uh, thing for a lot of things. There's a lot of uses to have for a small telescope and it's important to get the right kind of telescope. You want something portable and small like what you see here. However, you want a refractor. Okay, A refractor, as you can tell by it, has the eyepiece uh, on the bottom. Unlike a reflector like this, it has the eyepiece on the top. Okay or something like that, which is completely uh, not practical if you want to use it just for some basic uses. Okay, reason is refractors will see things right side up. A reflector like that will see things upside down. And so that's not really useful for a lot of applications. It's fine for stargazing astronomy, but it's not fine for if you want a, a tool to use for a wide variety of uses. Okay, there is another type of telescope available besides a refractor or a reflector and that's a, a Cassegrain telescope. There's a couple different kinds and they look similar to a refractor and they have the eyepiece at the bottom and they do see a correct vision where it's uh, uh, up is up is up and down is down and everything. The only problem with Cassegrain's is this is 127 millimeter is a really really powerful so they might be way too powerful. They might give you way too much power, and then it, it's not as useful for a lot of applications. If you're going to use a Cassegrain, these are also much more expensive uh, than the small refractors. So if you're going to use a Cassegrain for the uses I'm going to describe here, you'd want to get the smallest you can find. Like a, the smallest I've seen are 80 or 90 millimeter uh, wide, and that might work, but your best bet really is to get a refractor like this, a short tube refractor. Okay. There are of course long tube refractors that have the long uh, OTA tubes and those can certainly be used for things but they're not portable. Uh, they're hard to carry around and move around for all kinds of uses. So a short tube refractor, this is an 80 millimeter made by Orion and uh, 70 millimeters are also I think a good size. So they're short, they're easy to carry around and there are different models which I'll show you in a minute. So what uses can you have for a uh, short tube refractor telescope like what you see. Well besides stargazing, and stargazing is certainly fun, and if you if you live or you go to places that have very dark skies with very little light, you can see an amazing amount of things really, even with a small, smaller, inexpensive uh, refractor telescope like this. I remember when we had Hurricane Charlie move through and the power was out for several days. One of the things I remember is that we looked up in the sky and you couldn't believe the sky. It just looked so much different. There were so many stars. It was so full of stars you couldn't believe it because the light pollution was gone. And so that was pretty cool. And you might discover you really enjoy astronomy, uh, you know, once you, once you start a telescope. But again, a short tube refractor like this has a lot of other uses. For example, it's great for uh, long distance observation if you have a property or you're somewhere where you want to be observing long distances like uh, for security purposes or just observation of your property. This is great for that because you can use different power eyepieces. Use a, uh, a uh, longer millimeter eyepiece that will give you a much wider view and you can really scan the area that you're in. Uh, check it for security wise or for animals or whatever. And speaking for animals, there are models of short tube refractors that are portable. They uh, come with a, like a small backpack and you can set them up quickly with a tripod at any height you want. They could be used for hunting. Um, if you're certain types of hunting, of course, not like squirrel, okay, but big game hunting if you want to be scanning things and you can take it with you on a backpack. So that's a, a good use for it. Um, you can also use it for bird watching. Okay, you want you don't want an upside down view of a bird. You can use it for bird watching. You can also take it to uh, the gun range and use it uh, at the gun range to be checking your targets. Okay, so that's a really I think practical use for something like this. Um, you can also use uh, short tube refractors uh, like this just for uh, simple uh, observing uh, of. If you're trying to find something uh, high up in trees or you've got to do some uh, observation of different parts of your property where you have to get up close, it's one way to do that. And be, by using low power eyepieces, you're not going to be so zoomed in that you won't be able to see it. So it's very practical uh, for those purposes. 
Okay, let's, uh, now we've talked about the different uses for a uh, short tube refracting telescope. Let's look at different kinds. The kind I have here is at the top of the screen. It comes on a uh, little uh, Dobsonian base and it actually can adjust to a tripod. You'd have to have a separate tripod attach it to and it's very useful for that. It's a very lightweight scope. It just weighs a couple of pounds, feels very light. So let's take a look at some of the other options we have here. This, this one, this is from Amazon. I'll put a link uh, to Amazon pages where you can price compare if you're interested and just click on the link. That'll take you there. I'm not familiar with this line, White Twin Star. The tripod looks kind of cheap and, un and not sturdy to me, so I can't vouch for that. Some of the best choices out there, though, are there's 70 millimeter refractor sets, uh, like right here, that come with a carrying case. And those are probably the most practical, and they can be used for stargazing too, but you know, the more practical reasons we talked about. Uh, reasonably priced, as you can see at the time this video is being done. So Orion Go Scope and uh, Celestron uh, Travel Scope. And uh, 70 millimeters is perfect. 70 or 80 millimeters is perfect, really, for all the uses we talked about. It's powerful enough for astronomical observing. Uh, you know, the basics, you're not going to, you know, it's not the greatest scope for astronomy, but it's de definitely usable, especially when you're in very dark skies. Uh, if you're out in the boonies. So these are very good. They're lightweight. These tripods are fairly sturdy, especially when the legs are short, and you can also lengthen them and use them, and they're easy to set up. So those are a good option, I think. Uh, there's some other ones. There's some bigger ones you can get. You know, I would stick with the short tubes uh, if you've never used a telescope and you're not sure how much you use it. You know, you want something that has a lot of uses that's uh, reasonably priced. You know, of course, if you get into the astronomy hobby, you might find you like it and you might upgrade what you're doing. Like here's a longer tube refractor 70, but it's not nearly as practical as these short tube refractors because it's it's harder to carry around with you. Okay, these short tube refractors, like we were showing you here, okay, th these can fit in these small little backpacks. So those would be your best bets, I think, from what I've seen. Okay, so uh, hopefully this helps. Uh, if you're interested, again, just click on the link. I have the Amazon link, and you can kind of compare current prices and what's out there. But they're a lot of fun and have a lot of uses, I think, uh, for most people. All right, we'll see you later.